Hello, everyone, and welcome to RIDER. I am Dr. Pamela Pruitt, the Executive Director for the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, which is fondly referred to as CDI. We are delighted that you are interested in our inclusive leadership programming that we offer. You know, RIDER is committed to fostering responsible citizens who embrace diversity, support the common good, and contribute meaningfully to the changing world in which they live and work. CDI promotes the understanding of complex social identities across multiple communities of students who have been traditionally underrepresented, marginalized, or under-resourced. CDI is represented by those students whom we serve. Today, you will hear from two of these amazing students. We have more students just like these, and you can aspire to be like them. They will describe the Multicultural Student Leadership Institute P2P mentoring and spectrum mentoring. The latter two are only available in the fall semester. And a special preview will be the new physical centers of diversity and inclusion. Yes, even with COVID-19, Riders Leadership has kept their commitment to building a space on campus, especially for you. It's like a home away from home. Dion. Hello, my name is Dion Moore. I've been with CDI for a little over a year and a half. I'm currently a junior majoring in cybersecurity and a minor in sociology. Hi there, my name is Laker Tarifa and I just recently started in CDI and I'm currently in the MS Life program. I'm a transfer student and majoring in accounting and a minor in business analytics. The programs we will speak to you today will be inclusive for everyone. However, P2P mentoring and spectrum mentoring will speak to, to the students who identify as African American, Black African American, Chicanx, Hispanic, Latinx, Asian, Asian American, Hawaiian Pacific Islander, multi ethnic, LGBTQ, first generation, those students with ability challenges, or those who may identify as un underrepresented, marginalized, or under resourced. The first program we will be talking about is the Multicultural Student Leadership Institute, other, otherwise known as MSLI. In short, MSLI is a program that provides an environment for promoting leadership through cultural awareness, interaction, and engagement for students from all backgrounds. All identities who want to live respectfully and harmoniously in our campus and in a multicultural society. MSLI seeks to support and nurture first year and transfer students from diverse backgrounds and transitioning into a private, suburban educational environment. Students will then be more empowered and better, to, better able to successfully navigate the pathway of the college experience through self-reliance, persistence, retention, and a graduation by early engagement with faculty, staff, alumni, and service to other students in internal and external communities. Next, Dion will talk on participation and applying. Now the big question is who can participate and when can they sign up? Well, MSLI celebrates the diversity of color, national, national and ethnic origins, age, gender identity, or sexual orientation, religious belief, socioeconomic class, marital status, and disabilities. This program welcomes first year and incoming trans transfer students of all cultures and identities with varying backgrounds who may be interested in having an impact at Ryder. The program is, on, is for one semester, followed by a mentor student engagement for the second semester. In MSLI, we intend to open many doors for you and your students, as well as creating an environment for discussing issues relating to transition to a four-year four university. We also offer a nurturing environment, guidance and connection to others, as well as leadership development. All, the, all of this leads to a successful college experience and a rewarding future. The benefits of MSLI are to connect students to leadership, leadership, networking, mentoring, career, and career development opportunities. Engaged in college empowerment skills and campus navigation strategies, get one-on-one -on -one personal development and self-exploration support, participate in cross-cultural communication experiences, early move-in on campus if applicable, and earn engaged learning points. I'm sure that the word leader has been thrown around quite frequently. Some people may already possess different forms of leadership, but to others, leadership has to be acquired and is a growth process. The Institute of Culture guides these future leaders through these three seamless phases, 
each of which is a different stage of leadership learning. Phase one is about college survival strategies. For first year students, it's all about navigating the campus, learning the fundamentals of personal and organizational leadership and introspection. We also learn about the awareness and appreciation of others, team building, goal setting, and personal management. Phase one for incoming transfer students involves fundamental personal and organizational leadership, career pathways, networking, networking opportunities on campus, and a cross-cultural communication. Dion will now talk a little more on phase two. We also are known for a professional development training off campus, where we take where we take a trip to a nearby conference hotel and learn about professional development and leadership training. We introduce the students to the Emerging Leaders Program and the Leadership Development Program. And the, and the students can also participate in other leadership opportunities on campus, such as Greek life, service learning, and student government, as an example. For transfer students, phase two is all about mastering intermediate and advanced leadership, communication, and writing skills. The transfers also attend bi-weekly evenings with the directors and uh, off-campus training. Next, Dion will introduce phase three. In the cross-cultural communication phase, this is where you get involved in mainstream leadership opportunities on campus, mentor, 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 student engagement, and other ways of getting engaged learning points is being an MSLI peer leader, MSLI pals, and MSLI ambassadors. We have found that students who completed the MSLI program found success at Rider and Beyond Rider in 2017 when comparing MSLI students from diverse backgrounds with non-MSLI diverse students, our students are more involved on campus and have higher GPAs. This is a small portion of all the long-term benefits that MSLI can offer. Here are some of the success stories of MSLI. Juan Gonzalez, MSLI class of 2016, recently graduated this year as a double major in accounting and information systems. He was the president and public relations officer in his Greek organization, Lambda Theta Phi Latin Fraternity. He also studied abroad in London and interned at Kingston Smith, an LLP, LLP firm, which is a pretty prestigious accounting firm. She was MSLI class of 2013. When she was at Rider, she majored in behavioral neuroscience and minor in sociology. She was a student worker for four years in CDI, four years at, as a Bonner scholar, completed four hospital internships with experience in, in the emergency room, operating room, labor and delivery, and radiology department. She is currently attending medical school at Temple University of Podiatric Medicine. Next is Drew Gandum, MSLI class of 2015. He was a double major in finance and international business and was also a student worker in the Center for Diversity and Inclusion. Drew, Drew achieved the Andrew J. Ryder Scholar Award twice in his college experience. He was on the executive board for Beta Gamma Sigma, a business honor society, he also interned at Munich Reassurance America, a global, for, a global reassurance company. Currently, Drew is working at Simon & Schuster, a division of CBS. How does one apply? Please don't wait to apply for MSLI and MSLIT. The deadline is January 15th for the spring semester and May 15th for the fall semester. If you meet after the deadline, you will be, still be considered for these programs. Dion, now Dion will talk a little more on the P2P mentoring. Other programs we, will, we offer for our first years is peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. Rogers University's peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program promotes student success and persistence through graduation. Peer-to-peer -peer mentoring is an opportunity for the first year students of color or those who may identify as underrepresented, unrepresented, marginalized, and or under-resourced to be plugged into a community of peers. Participants will have the opportunity to be mentored by juniors and seniors. In addition to a mentoring experience, students will have weekly programming to ensure that they are, are engaged on campus. This program is only offered to incoming freshmen in the fall semester. There are a lot of benefits, as you can see, to be a part of P2P mentoring. But to highlight some, some as a mentee, you can gain practical peer advice, encouragement, and support. You learn such strategies for dealing with personal and academic matters and you build a network with peers, faculty, staff, and administrators and alumni. And to top it off, you also learn engaged learning points. So who can participate as a mentee? First, first time students of color or those who may identify as underrepresented, marginalized and or under resources, beginning in the fall. 
How will the how will the meetings and events for P2P mentoring look? They will occur on Ryder campus, hoping everything is well with the current situation. When possible, CDI will collaborate and merge with other departments and other mentoring seminars, like MSLI fall evenings and spring afternoon seminars. Now Dion will present on the difference between P2P mentoring and MSLI. Now we recently mentioned MSLI and we want to clear up any confusion. The differences with MSLI and P2P mentoring can be seen on screen, but there are some main differences that are with P2P mentoring that there is no early move in and that is only for that is only for one academic year. For first years to sophomores only, there is no bridge week or offsite professional development training. If you were to ask us which of the two programs you should apply to, we would say that is your choice. However, there are only a select few that can get into MSLI. Dr. Pruitt can only take, up, take in 30 students. So with that said, you may start with MSLI and then become a, P, a P2P mentoring mentor in your junior year, or you can apply to P2P mentoring on our website and forego applying for MSLI. The deadline for P2P mentoring is August 15th. Please answer the questions carefully. The application will be used to match you with a mentor who has, who has similar interests, the same restrictions as MSLI. It is best to write the answers to the top of questions in a Word document and then to copy and paste them onto the application. Once again, this program is only offered to incoming freshmen in the fall semester. We also have a mentoring program in collaboration between the Center for Diversity and Inclusion and Rider Spectrum Pride Alliance. This program is an opportunity for first years and transfers transfer LGBTQ plus students to be plugged into a community that affirms and supports their identity development. Incoming first years will be mentored by sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Additionally, students will have bi-weekly programming to ensure that they are, they are staying engaged on campus. This program is offered to freshmen and transfer students in the fall semester. The program's mission statement is to support first year LGBTQ plus students on campus by sharing that they are aware of resources on campus and by also building a community of peers to help them understand their own personal development. The learning goals we have seen for the mentees are that the mentees will be able to articulate their own lived experiences, identify other people's, other people's opinions and identify characteristics of their social identity. So who can participate? Incoming first year and transfer students who identify as LGBTQ plus or feel part of the community. Dion will now talk on when you can apply to be a Spectrum mentee. The deadline to request a Spectrum mentoring mentor is on August 15th. Please answer the questions carefully. They will be used to match your mentor who, who has similar interests. Your responses will be kept confidential and files will be kept secure. And, sim and similar to MSLI and P2P mentoring, you may still apply for a Spectrum Mentoring Program after the deadline. If openings occur, your application will be considered. Once again, this program is only offered, is offered to freshmen and transfer students in the fall semester. And now Dr. Pru is gonna share, share a glimpse into the new Center for Diversity and Inclusion. Thank you so much, Dion and Slaker. The programs that we offer are amazing for our students. And you might be wondering, well, the two programs that are offered in the fall you can't really apply to them. MSLI and MSLIT are the only two that you may be able to apply for in the spring, but that's okay because when you become junior or senior, you can apply to become a mentor for either P2P mentoring or Spectrum mentoring. Now let's take a virtual tour of the brand new Center for Diversity and Inclusion. The center is located where the Bronx 107.7 radio station found its home for decades across from the Ryder University Bookstore. As soon as you walk onto the ground floor of the Bart Ludicky Center and you look on your right, you will see two double doors that open into a living room. Beyond the living room, you can see a big conference room and past that conference room is a smaller one. Student clubs and organizations that are identity-based will be able to have their meetings throughout the day and evenings in the space. We also have a little kitchenette and beyond that is a storage area. There is a small closet for coats and storage that follows on the same wall. Further, you can see the student organization workroom with a beautiful mural. Here is where there are lockers for organizations to keep their materials and trifolds. We have combination locks on them. In the center of the room, there is a workstation 
for students who are working on projects, chatting, or meeting. There is also a small table in the space with high top and a whiteboard. In case there are any instructional, instructional meetings, students will have a place to write. Then there are offices for the executive director, assistant director, and graduate assistant. There is also a spirituality coordinator's office, which does not have an occupant yet. So of course the student workers kind of take that as theirs. The graffiti artwork uh, that you see is a collaborative project with the artworks in Trenton. The project included well-known graffiti artists who were mentors to students at Ryder and Trenton, and together they came up with the concepts for those murals. During our focus groups, the clubs and organizations decided that they didn't want to have separate rooms for different cultures. They wanted shared spaces. They wanted to be fluid in the space. The graffiti walls depict all of the different cultures that we have in the Ryder family. So there you have it. MSLI, P2P mentoring, and spectrum mentoring, along with the glimpse of the new uh, physical Center for Diversity and Inclusion. And we'd like you to please consider joining one of our inclusive leadership programs as soon as possible. And we hope to see you on our campus at our new Center for Diversity and Inclusion as soon as we get out of the pandemic. And on the final slide, you'll see all of the links where you can apply uh, for MSLI, which I encourage you to do right away, and then to look around at CDI and see all the fascinating work that goes on there with its student workers and all of its students that contribute. So be well, stay safe, and again, welcome to Ryder.